pleased the Lord is giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Uh, I'm going to read about the dream that I had of you. And this is the dream. I saw you majestically dressed in a very bright yellow long dress. Your hairdo was an elegant royal bun and your face looked radiant and refreshed as you smiled with great and triumphant confidence. Behind your head there was a star shining with long beams of light in a position that resembled a big hair adornment to enhance your holy beauty. You looked like you were clothed with the sun in that bright yellow dress, like the woman of Revelation 12.1, but with just one big star instead of 12 stars. And it was shining behind your head, similar to the sun. There is a strong reason as to why the Lord revealed deep things of the kingdom to his children, those that he called his own. For the revelation of God will position you with a deeper aspect of the kingdom, and without revelation you would be unstable and wouldn't have a solid foundation to life. Revelations will position you rightly in mind and even in everything you do. The Lord is our shepherd, and we will not want. Psalms 23 verse 1 For David's revelation helped him to understand the source of his provision in God. Your smile was gorgeous and showed assurance, great joy, and freedom. I was looking up to you because you were at the upper part of a descending escalator, and I was at a lower level. As soon as the escalator began moving, moving you down with your right hand graciously placed on the handrail, the big star behind your head remained in its own place and kept shining through a very tall glass window that was round on the top and showed the sky. You kept standing with poise and smiling with grace as the escalator kept bringing you closer. When you reached the level where I was standing, I jumped over the handrail and landed on the escalator behind you. Then I followed you where you were going on that floor, which was inside a church that was congregated in that building, where you immediately stood behind the pulpit and were about to start addressing the people. I went to sit with my daughter and my eldest son, who all of a sudden I realized were by my side and I was telling them where I wanted to see. At that point, I woke up. I just wanted you to know about this beautiful dream because I believe it is prophetic. And uh, after meditating for days about it, I believe it has to do with your mission right now in Abuja and your common mission in Israel. God bless you, Princess Prophetess Anne. When you know that God is your provider, you will not move from where He has sent you. And not be shaken when there is lack in life. God is the source of all spiritual and physical blessings. He said, My blessings make it rich and added no sorrow unto it. And we are connected to this blessing through the deeper revelations that we have with Him. The revelation that we have with Him unfolds the deeper aspect of Christ and we can freely embrace the glorious side of Him and the future in Him 
is being revealed unto us through revelation. For when our glorious sight in Christ is being revealed unto us, it enables us to live a supernatural life. When you believe and build your life on the revelations God gives you, you will be blessed. And you would also be a great blessing to everyone around you. Touching the lives of others through the glorious works of Christ in you in revealed. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. After his encounter, revelation with Christ, Acts chapter 19, verse 11. One of the secrets to Paul's supernatural ministry is that he knew God and he also has a revelation on the deeper revelation of the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, which equipped him to be a channel of blessing and a channel of God's unusual power wherever he went. Your revelations will bless and also equip you to be a blessing to everyone from your home and to the ends of the earth. Just as our beloved sister, her revelation is not just assuring her of her devotion in Christ, but it's also blessing sons and daughters around the world. For revelation is one of the powerful medium that God uses to reveal himself to his own in order to elevate their faith in their path of salvation. For Christ in us, the hope of glory. This faith will empower you to live a purposeful life and also to help you push yourself through the midst of any challenges and persecutions. Paul, the apostle of the Lord, his desire was to know Christ and the revelation he had sustained him in his trying moments. It made him persistent in life. He says, I press on to reach the end of the race and to receive the heavenly praise and prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Philippians 3 verse 14. The revelation you receive from God will make you persistent and empower you to endure everything until you reach your goal. In the Lord's vine earth, it is not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord, and his revelation is revealed to us through his spirit. For revelation brings our spiritual glorious body visible unto us, and to know how endowed and empowered we have made spiritually to face the life challenges and our spiritual battles that we are surrounded by. Thus knowing that we are capable, more than capable, to overcome. Second Corinthians 4 verse 4 says, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that display the glory of Christ who is the image of God. One of the reason why people are so confused and hopeless in life and fighting for their identity in the world 
is because they have been blinded by the devil. People can see physically but can't be blinded to see what is happening in the spiritual realm. When you are reading, studying and meditating in the word of God, may your eyes be open, resulting to supernatural peace, hope and empowerment in Christ Jesus. Amen. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.